What's going on, YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. We have some news pertaining to Season 5 Reloaded of MW2. I know most of us have already left Modern Warfare 2, and we don't really care about what's happening to that game until Modern Warfare 3 releases, but this video is for those of you that want to know what's ahead in Modern Warfare 2, what to look forward to with tomorrow's update, because there's been no excitement around this update whatsoever. There's been no talk leading up to it. We're just getting it tomorrow. So this update doesn't really change anything too massive, but there is one change that I do want to highlight later on in this video. But before we get there, I just want to dump some of the news and notes onto you. First and foremost, we're going to be getting two new modes to Warzone Season 5. The Fort Resurgence mode, which will contain a revamped map based on Al Mazra, tailored for the smaller mode. It will have its own playlist on launch. And then there's Armored Royale mode, which is a limited time mode available only in quads in which two teams must safeguard their vehicle and prevent it from being destroyed. This will also have its own mode in Warzone. So if you're somebody who likes new modes in Warzone, there you go, two new modes. Uh, we're also getting some new operators, one of which is being the Tomb Raider Lara Croft operator, which is one of the few crossovers that we've seen in Call of Duty that I look at it and I say, I want. Mostly because I love the Tomb Raider series and... I think it would be kind of badass to have Lara Croft in Call of Duty, but I just don't know if I can go against my principles and spend money on Call of Duty at this point. Maybe in the future. At least we know that if I buy it in MW2, it's going to transfer over into MW3, which they definitely reiterated a lot during their info dump for Season 5 Reloaded. We're also going to get the 21 Savage skin, and there's also going to be a new operator bundle for a tracer pack called Mace. Modern Warfare 2 Season 5 Reloaded is also going to have three new weapons. The Pickaxe, the Lockman Shroud, and the 9mm Damon, which is just a tactical pistol. And outside of that, that's basically it. That's all the information we have right now for Season 5 Reloaded. If you can't already tell, Modern Warfare 2 and Infinity Ward have kind of phoned it in at this point. They're not going to make any massive changes, any groundbreaking changes. However... They have made one change, and a change that I do want to highlight here, and Charlie Intel noted it uh, on Twitter, and this is what he said. A play again feature is being added to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer with Season 5 Reloaded, allowing people within a... Si That's a weird English. Allowing people within the same teams to play another game together. This change is allowing you to squad up with your current team which is something we've actually never seen in Call of Duty before. Normally, you just stayed within your lobby, and then the lobby would rebalance teams. However, with this Play Again feature, you're going to be able to squad up, maybe make friends, maybe build a community. This is a very positive change, and I hope it's a change they maintain into Modern Warfare 3. While it's not perfect, I think it's a step in the right direction, and obviously, I think it's a step towards not disbanding lobbies, and I'm all for that. I think that is a good change, and I hope that we progress towards not disbanding lobbies, because I'm kind of sick and tired of that, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'd rather see Call of Duty keep their lobbies together after each and every game. I know they want to rebalance it for skill-based matchmaking purposes, but it just takes away a little bit from the experience, and personally, I liked staying in the same lobby with the same people, and then you develop rivalries, you might develop friendships, you laugh about things, you get angry about things together, and it's just all in all a good time, and that's how you build a community. So this is a step in the right direction. I do like it. I think it's a change worth mentioning, and that's why I'm highlighting it here. However, with every good change, there's also a bad change, which I do have to once again highlight with this screenshot here. I just don't know what... Call of Duty is doing. Maybe this is just a meme. Maybe Charlie Intel is making me a fool here. I don't really know. I haven't watched the trailer for Season 5 Reloaded. I honestly just couldn't care less. But why are we doing this? Why are we implementing more and more animal skins into Call of Duty? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It breaks the aesthetic. It breaks the immersion. I love the Lara Croft Tomb Raider inclusion. I hate this. I think this is awful, I think this is stupid, and I think it just completely disregards Call of Duty. Like, it's just there to make money. And I get it, it's going to make money, and that's why they put it in the game. That's why they put all of the stupid animal skins in the game, because they make money. If they didn't make money, they wouldn't make them. They know this is going to be controversial, they know people are going to get mad about it, look at me, and they know people are going to buy it, so they put it in the game. But it's just, why? Why do we put... Stupid things like this above good game design. Why do we 
include this just to make money instead of making more amazing connections, crossovers like the Lara Croft one. It, it just blows my mind. It's been 10 months of this nonsense, and I still don't know what the identity of Modern Warfare 2 is, other than it being lackluster, other than it being disappointing, other than it being just one giant meme. It is absolutely disheartening to look at what Modern Warfare 2 could have been at launch and seeing what it is today. It is a game that is run rampant with animals all through it. I didn't know we were on the set of BoJack Horseman while playing Call of Duty. Like, what are we doing here, Call of Duty? You do one great thing like Lara Croft and then you do this? And then you also have rats in the game and you have saber-toothed tigers and you have wolves and you... I don't know what you're doing. I just don't know. Oh, that's what it is. Making money. Call of Duty has completely cashed themselves in. All of their integrity has gone out the window in favor for larger sums of money. Greed has entered the chat. And unfortunately... This isn't going to change with Modern Warfare 3. It's not. We're going to continue to get more skins like this because they make money and not because they're practical for the game. Not because they match the aesthetic or the themes of the game. And that, to me, is just heartbreaking. The fact that this is what Call of Duty has become. And honestly, if I was a prominent content creator back during the Advanced Warfare days where there was a flippin' clown in the game, I would have said the same thing. Those are not skins for Call of Duty. Those are not skins that I want to see in my first-person shooter war simulator. That's not what I want. And that's the other thing about Call of Duty. It doesn't know what it wants to be. But that's neither here nor there. One last thing I want to focus on is what is carrying over into MW3 from Modern Warfare 2. It was confirmed that weapons and bundles would carry over, but what about your emblems? What about your charms, your stickers? What about your camos? Well, those are all going to carry over as well. Want to show off Gold, Platinum, Polytomic, or Orion on day one? Those camos and hundreds more in addition to Weapon Mastery emblems, charms, stickers, prestige emblems, calling cards, and other cosmetics will all be available in MW3 along with the next chapter of Call of Duty Warzone. So, Modern Warfare 2 camouflages will only apply to Modern Warfare 2 weapons, not weapons available in Modern Warfare 3. So, I guess get grinding on MW2 so you can show off all of your hard work in MW3 so once again you can begin the grind in MW3. And that's not me trying to discount the grind. I think the weapon grind is one of the few things that Modern Warfare 2 had going for it. And I hope it's a weapon grind again in Modern Warfare 3. Those weapon grinds are fun because there's actually a reward at the end of the day. You can show something off and say, hey, look at all my hard work. But that's it for the video today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything we touched on in this video. Whether it's Warzone 2, this weird skin, Lara Croft Tomb Raider, or maybe you're stoked about the Play Again feature. Let me know with a comment down below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.